What's up guys, how's it going? It's John, Games31. This video I wanted to share with you guys Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Master System. This technically never came out for the Master System in North America. This is actually uh, Brazil, it's a Brazilian exclusive, so it's a pretty rare title for the system. Uh, for those who may not know, Sega Master System was huge in Brazil. It was uh, supported for, for decades. In fact, uh, you can still get clone systems out there for the Sega Master System. This particular game, uh, came out uh, later in the life, 1997, for example. And I love the blue style here, Sega Master System. Kind of reminds me of the Dreamcast, the blue Dreamcast that's down in Australia. Um, you can see the cover, Street Fighter 2. And it's obviously in 8-bit. <laughs> and it's not a great port, but it's a unique port, uh, certainly. Now what I'm going to do is uh, share with you uh, what the cartridge looks like, the manual, because really cool. The poster is all in Portuguese, which is awesome. Uh, and then obviously I'll show you some gameplay. Uh, but we'll go from there, thanks for watching. So here is a closer look at the box. Uh, it is uh, licensed by Capcom. Uh, there's a Sega logo there. Uh, kind of hard to see, blue on blue. And then you have the Tech Toy. The Tech Toy was the main company in Brazil that produced a lot of these Sega Master Systems. A lot of clones with, with several built-in games on them. Um, and some of the ports they came out with was crazy. This isn't, you know, they actually had Mortal Kombat came out for the Sega Master System actually in North America included. Sega Master System didn't do as well in North America uh, because the NES had such a huge stronghold on it. However, uh, other parts of the world it did much better, including Brazil. Um, so here's the back. It's all in Portuguese. Some of the words, of course, fight. Uh, it's eight mega day memory. Okay, that's a mem eight uh, memory. Megabits, maybe. Uh, and then, let's see. Let's open it up. Clamshell, similar to what you'd see at uh, with... Um, you know, Sega Master System games, Genesis games, Mega Drive games. They actually hold up the test time fairly well. Here is a really cool poster I was talking about. Let's open this up carefully. The Master System. The nice thing about the Master System, guys, it is region free, which is huge. So, uh, you know, be, because I own this game and I, own a, I don't own a, a Brazilian Sega Master System, I can still play it. You can see the, the different games. It's very cool. It's hard to get in all one shot. The Master System, pretty awesome. Then Illusion Tasmania, Streets of Rage 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is a totally different port from the Genesis Mega Drive port. Superman, Sonic Chaos, which came out for the Game Gear, which is basically a Sega Master System portable one. Here's the other back. Here's a Mortal Kombat 2 poster. Pretty awesome. I'm assuming that's for. Um, the Sega Master System as well. Pull that up. Here's what the manual looks like. It's a black and white manual. Everything's in Portuguese to show the Master System 3 compact. See, the only had Master System 2 came out in North America and there was a compact like that, but this is a 3 one. Joystick, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the D-pad. And obviously only two buttons. Various characters. So not all the characters are in this game. Uh, you have Ryu, Ken, Chun Li. I always thought it was Chun Li. Chun Li. They say Chun Li there. I don't know if that's a typo, but it's Chun Li, Brolag, Saget, and Bison. So you're missing quite a, some characters. Missing like dolls and I don't think he's there among other ones. Okay. Anyway. Um, here are the characters, different moves. Chun-Li, yeah, I was right. So yeah, it's weird. Um, obviously typo before. Very weird. <laughs> Alright, and then here, here's what the cart looks like. Kind of unique. Uh, most, say, Master System carts you'll see, probably in North America, you'll used to seeing are either maroon, few of them are white. This is blue. So let's plug this in and uh, take a closer look. Ah, the classic Capcom intro. Gotta love it. Followed up by the Tech Toy. Considered to be classic in Brazil. <laughs> Outside Brazil, probably not many people have heard of it. Uh, but what's interesting about this game, this port, is everything is in English as far as menu options go. I guess that's because I guess the way the arcade would have been. Uh, however, you know, obviously the instructions are in Portuguese, everything else is in Portuguese, but 
Menu is in English, which makes it easy to navigate around. The first option difficulty is there's eight playable characters. The sprites here are actually taken from Super Street Fighter 2. Um, you'll notice some of the sprites or you know, the images and all that. Uh, I think graphically, the game looks good. Uh, audio wise, the game is solid for 8 bit graphic game. Uh, however, the, the, the one thing that, the couple things that makes this game kind of broken are the, the frame rate here. You can tell it's just it's not very good. And the controls are awful. Uh, you only have two buttons to uh, use with the, the control pad. So basically, one button is punch, the other one's, one's kick. Comparison, this never came out for the NES, but if you look at here, this is a pirated NES port of Street Fighter 2 uh, that some people put together. Just kind of give you some comparison as far as graphically how much different the two ports are. Uh, this is how it would have looked like, I guess, if it was ported to the NES. I, I believe that the Super uh, Sega Master System, both graphically, color palette, uh, audio-wise, is superior than the NES. I'm not saying it's superior system than the NES. I think the NES has a lot better games. Uh, but you can kind of see here just graphically, it looks pretty solid. Uh, even the music uh, matches the, 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 the stages. And the backgrounds, they've taken some of the items out and all that good stuff. But uh, for the most part, the, the, they have the backgrounds that match the characters, which is, which again, pretty pretty impressive. Another thing irritating about this particular port, though, is uh, with the controls is it's really hard to uh, do any of the commands. I mean, trying to do down, forward, punch, uh, it doesn't work. I couldn't get it to work. I maybe got it worked once. Uh, and that was just a fluke. So this is more just a button mashing uh, fighting game. So if you're five, into fighting games and you like strategy and you like using cer certain combos, this is not the port for you. Uh, by all any stretch of the imagination, this is not the port for you. Um, but I put this on easy and it's, it's really easy to, to put people, your, your, your opponent, opponent in the corner there and just keep punching them and stuff. Uh, overall, uh, this is an interesting port. Uh, definitely a cool collector's item for the Sega Master System. I actually like the Sega Master System. I think it's it's, it's pretty underappreciated. The only thing I don't like about it is really uh, the controller, the D-pad is atrocious, especially using a fighting game. Uh, there's really no uh, defined directionals on the D-pad. Overall, I would say graphically and audio-wise, it's a pretty solid port of Street Fighter 2, especially considering it's all in 8-bit. The thing that ruined it though are the controls, which are obviously key in a fighting game, as well as the frame rate. Uh, overall, I would say this is a really cool collector's item, but not a good port for Street Fighter 2. Not definitely not one to to play for the gaming experience. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking this. Thanks for sharing. And we'll see you guys soon. Game on.